Cancer. Welcome to Sag Life Tarot. Another walk through adventure for Cancer energy. Can you pray with me, please? Can we pray together? God the Father, Mother, Divine Creator, Source, Energy, Vibrations, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Guardian Angels, and Ancestors, all things. We humbly come before you in gratitude. Thank you. Goodness, love, joy, peace, mercy, happiness, long life, and prosperity. From me to you, Cancer. Amen. Cancer, I hope you had such a wonderful day. How are you? I didn't ask you how you look. I heard somebody say, I'm fine. I heard somebody say, I'm good. I'm glad to hear you good. I didn't ask you how you look. You fine. I know you fine. Okay, Cancer. I just wanted to get that Cancerian energy into the cards, the flow of things. Can we see Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, speak with us today? What energy would you share with Cancer today? Thank you to my subscribers for coming back. Thank you to people who just love to watch to grow. I love to share it. Let's see what energy. Oh, look, first thing out, Cancer. What you got going on? Hmm, Eight of Swords. Somebody caught up mentally in their own emotional mind, feelings, bound or stuck, feeling this way. Mm, chariot in reverse. Uncertain about what's going on. Lacking the willpower. Wanting to give up. Feel like you're going in the wrong direction. But Ten of Pentacles. So financially successful. Okay. Uh, this could be the boss having some issues at work with some people you might have to let go of for some this is something happening at the workplace i'm sure if you even want to stay here whatever this is though somebody could be getting a financial breakthrough this is generational wealth here somebody could be getting a new business partner Maybe somebody is ready to sign a contract, but you're not sure of this being a successful adventure. Mm, the devil energy here. Now, let's dig a little deep into this because with the devil energy, I'm feeling like it's something to be to overcome. Mm -hmm. Like the devil energy suggests a couple of things. Addictions restrictions but it can also mean that you found the strength to overcome something the ability to use both good and, and bad energy uh, negative and positive is what I want to call it hmm. to use both negative and positive energy to overcome something uh, possibly somebody overcoming an addiction. Somebody making it through a very rough time here. Deciding for themselves that they will overcome this temptation. You had a car flip all the way on the other side of the room. Two of Pentacles. Something you have to use your own mind you have to something you were been juggling with possibly a relationship with this nine of cups it's 
this is kind of seemingly off balance because you got here somebody who's mentally stuck in a situation possibly this is what's happening somebody is mentally stuck here been restrained in this position for a long time so much so that they know they go in the wrong direction they know this is not where they want to be but it's feeling like unable to get out of it okay this could be with a family this could be in a family dynamic. This could be in a, a business aspect. Whatever it is, you've been holding on to this for a while. And it would make it seem as if at the moment you're addicted to this. Like you're now addicted to the pain that you've been carrying around so much so you don't want to let it go. That's for some. This is a general message. For others, somebody has been holding on to this relationship, family dynamic for a long time, but you feeling now like you want your wishes to be filled and you've been juggling this situation for a minute now. Possibly even juggling two families here. That's for somebody, Cancer. Somebody here is juggling two families, okay? It could be the person in your energy that you are feeling restricted with, that you are uh, feeling imprisoned. But this is a mental imprisonment because you can get out of any situation you in. You just haven't taken the, uh, the you haven't moved out of it. You have the power to move out of it. You just haven't. Okay, you've been hearing this energy for a long time. You got the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Coins. Both of these are suggesting that there is abundance here, material success, wealth here. I feel like uh, maybe somebody is in this dynamic because the person that you are with is financially more secure than you are. Okay, uh, with the Two of Pentacles, it's like learning to balance things actually balancing them and knowing how to balance it but something is always getting less attention here but with this nine of coins this is reaping the rewards of your labor so whatever you put your energy into uh possibly not this relationship because it looked like it's been hard and you want to give up on it but for some people, it's actually been something you've been working hard at maintaining. Maybe even for people to see that you're maintaining it, but it's not really in your heart's desire to maintain this situation. It's always causing some type of hot energy here. Possibly arguments, possibly always anger and frustration in this dynamic the wheel of fortune is here this is karma life cycles this is a change in your life your destiny catching up with you you can't walk get away from your destiny no matter how hard you try it's going to find you somebody here is learning themselves very well here possibly um somebody going back to school Somebody is uh, very open-minded about this change that's happening in your life. This is a faded change. This is actually the wheel coming back full circle to return unto you the things that you set out into the world. So if you know your words don't come back void, then you know those words have to play out. So you have to be careful in what it is you say here. Somebody is getting good news, okay? So if you were waiting for something to come in, good news is coming in. It's definitely coming in. So for somebody who was waiting for a job that they truly wanted, um, it's coming in here. Look at page of coins come out. Somebody got a lot of young energy here. This is more good news. This is more good news being brought to you. When I see this card, somebody uh, is studying in a magical aspect, like uh, not just magic as in uh, somebody doing black magic or something like that. No, I mean like somebody is learning themselves and learning that they have magic. You have the magic 
to change your life. And some people are learning that they can manifest things quickly. This is magic. You being able to manifest things in other people's life, speak into other people, heal other people. These are magical things, right? And so Page of Coins is a study of magic. So in you, I feel like someone is learning to study the things that actually make them happy and the gifts that they have that help other people as well. You got a three of swords here. This is uh, overcoming. Sorry. It's in reverse, which is a good thing to see here, Cancer. It is in reverse. So this is overcoming the sadness that you had here with this Knight of Swords and with this chariot in reverse. Uh, that is Cancer energy. Uh, while we talking about it, that's cancer energy way to pop out in your read, but you real about this. Like you are truly looking into your emotional pro uh, issues, uh, emotional holdbacks, emotional blocks, uh, things that's standing against your progress here, spiritually, emotionally, because this is being stuck mentally, overcoming mental challenges. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune here is giving you a new life cycle and it's time for you to change. And I believe now with this page of wands, this page of coins, you are learning the new creative childlike energy that you hold within you and you are releasing the pains real swords in reverse that is wonderful to see that means that you are not letting the past things that once hurt you hurt you anymore they can't hurt you if somebody was hurting you which it got to be something that was happening here because karma is here so karma gonna come whether it's a negative or a positive karma okay what is is saying that you have forgiven this energy and released it. And I'm feeling the energy of you walking away from something that used to hurt you. And it doesn't hurt you anymore. But you have learned where it is that you need to lay up goals and set boundaries and learn to be playful and learn to be more loving and giving and excited about the things that you're going through. And releasing all of this hurt, healing yourself, and you are worth the fight. Seven of Wands, worth fighting for. I love it. You are absolutely worth fighting for, Cancer. And you are fighting for yourself. This is making a stand. This is putting your foot down. This is finally deciding for yourself what did i say didn't i say i felt like you was gonna be leaving somebody behind look at them they traveling they are leaving and on top of that you got the two of pentacles right here um this is going to be a very good walk away i feel like you are gonna make it work with somebody that once didn't have and possibly had your best interest at heart, but it wasn't a, a good, um, it wasn't a good experience. It wasn't a good adventure with this person. This journey has been very heart felt breaking, very uh, depressing. It was so much hurt in this energy, but you are worth fighting for and you are making a stand recognizing that it's your life and the only way to face your life is to be happy and find the joy for you even if it means letting people go okay even if it means letting people go you know what this card say like, haters gonna hate they gonna hate cancer they gonna be mad that you found the strength to free yourself they're going to be mad that you found a strength to overcome this devil energy. They're going to be mad, Cancer, but it's not about nobody. It's about your life. And that's what it's about. And it's good karma here. And this is the moment. This is a decisive moment. And I feel strongly like you made you worth more than anything else because you are Cancer. So whoever these energies are that you about to walk away from or these energies, I feel like it's not going to be a bad walk away. Like you literally going to make um, whatever this situation is, y'all going to walk away with 
not being angry at each other. It's going to be a little hurt and painful. And for a minute, you're going to miss them for a second. But you're going to remind yourself of why you are leaving and letting go. For some, there's a reconciliation here. So it could have been somebody that you left a while ago and y'all are coming back together. Can we put some money out here for cancer? Cancer, I got pretty deep. That was pretty deep right there. I feel your energy. I feel the sadness that you went through and the strength to keep going. Offering the universe will meet all your needs. You hear that? Because when you walk away, it's going to be worth it. The people you spend the most time with shape who you are. It's going to be worth you walking away. Call upon your spirit guides and angels to assist you during this time. And, and think things differently. Uh, change how you see things. Open up your mind into a different way of seeing things. This is science, which apply a scientific approach to your business or financial problems. A loss. What do we say? Somebody lost something. Financial loss. Like maybe walking away from this person is going to cause a financial loss, but again the universe will meet all your needs somehow these needs are going to be met somebody could be losing a job it could be really hard to find a job you are a rebel a trailblazer meant to see things differently what did i just say changing up how you see things you are meant to set a new path for others your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster to teach others a better way because you definitely going in a better way. Now, the business card is here, meaning somebody is about to get their own business started. Do not be intimidated to enter the world of business. You got this. Okay, Cancer, it's your time. Can I get a life purpose for Cancer, please? Life purpose for Cancer. Talk to your angels. What did this offering card just say? This offering card said, call upon your spirit, guys. And this is your life purpose. Telling you again, call your angels. Talk to them. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Can I have uh, angels of abundance for cancer? Hold fast, cancer. Hold fast. Can I have an angels of abundance for cancer, please? Angels of abundance for cancer. Angels. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, hope I can't make it up for y'all, cancer. Words of abundance and dreams of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you will attract for yourself and others. Same thing applies for your life. Speak words of abundance into your life like love. Love will come for me. Uh, speak this goodness over your life. Dreams of abundance. So you having dreams and they telling you to speak your words because you having dreams. As you sleep, God, your angels and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. Right now, Cancer, I feel like you are strongly manifesting some things into your life and it is coming about into a wonderful change, Cancer. You got the Wheel of Fortune out here. That is Jupiter energy. Good luck, good fortune. And this is saying words of abundance and dreams of abundance. And I think both of them is the two cards that fell out at first. Come on, man. Come on, Cancer. It's your time. It's your time, but you got to stand on yourself, stand for you. Midnight margaritas, truth. You got to stand in your truth. Can't nobody tell you what to do with your life. You got to take your own life into your own hands. Rosemary, purify your energy. I'm telling you, get with one of these people that can um clean, help you cleanse your energy. And you're going to realize a lot of bad demons going to start moving around. 
amethyst, acceptance, and courage. Accepting yourself, okay? Can I get some angels? This is uh, romance angels. Romance angels, please. Romance angels. Things are definitely turning in your favor. We got the nine of cups and the nine of coins. Independent wealth and independent success. Wishes coming true. If your wishes to get away from somebody is coming. If your wishes to get engaged, that's coming. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. That is for some. This is a general message. Okay, can I get a couple more? Look at that. I cannot make it up. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Somebody getting married here. We cannot make this up. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That's from for somebody. Let's get the power of love. The power of love. Can I have a powerful love card here? Powerful love card for cancer, please. For cancer energy. What would you say? Okay. Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Let's get these, uh, let's get a, a magical card out here. Let's get a unicorn oracle. Unicorn Oracle, please. Oh, child, you got three of them. Anger. Oh, safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. Partnership. What we said, you getting a partner. Teamwork will give you a better result. For Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. And intention. Be clear and decisive. Okay, didn't it say you was about to make a major decision? Focus on what you really want and be bold with your request to the universe. Now, didn't words of abundance and dreams of abundance just tell you? Okay, activation oracle, sure. Why not? Realization, come on, 37. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth. Come on, truth is out here. As well as the external process of becoming our highest expression to this world. Number 37, very important. Let's get some answers. Improving health for somebody. Opportunity is coming. The answer is yes. Come on, angel answers. We thank you for helping us today. Thank you for these answers. Oh, thank you. What? Helpful people. I can't make it up, y'all. What did it just say? Uh, no, that was, what's that? Fine. Mm-hmm. Partnership. Fine, trustworthy people. Helpful people. We can't make it up. Nope. Let's get a couple more answers from the angels. Take action. You had a card that said action. What's that? <laughs> oh, come on, angel answers. That one was, what was that? Um, The power of love. Action. Come on, cancer. You, you see these angels talking to you. Success. Period. Cancer, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope something happened here for you. I hope you got something. I uh, absolutely love and appreciate each and every one of you. If you hit that like and that subscribe button, thank you. It is free to support me. And I am so grateful to you for supporting me. I will be back next week with another general message for you. My information is in the description box below. I do private reads. I will see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of these days that you have in this uh, wonderful week we have here. Uniquely you. Be you. You magical. You know you are. I love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. See you soon. Later.